We're having it's a small face-off. Uh, it has been a, a bit of a triumphant show of strength, if you will, for the Aam Aadmi Party. Sanjay Singh, it's a former member of parliament. He walked out of the Tihar jail after six months today. Uh, he was in ED custody and then subsequently in Tihar jail. This comes after the Supreme Court cited the inability of the enforcement director to establish the money trail, ruling that Sanjay Singh has met the twin conditions of bail under PMLA. Sanjay Singh was arrested back in October of last year. He faces charges of having received two crores in bribes from a, one of the accused, Samir Mahindru, as well as from Abhishek Boinpalli. The Aam Aadmi Party has claimed vindication, saying that despite the raids, no funds have been recovered from the top brass of the party. The BJP has said that Sanjay Singh has not been pardoned, even saying that the money trails have been established in the cases of Manish Sisodia and Arvind Kejriwal. Countering Kejriwal's plea against his arrest, the enforcement directorate in court today said that the proceeds of crime were allegedly used in the Goa elections and will be found in the homes of the accused, citing calling the Aam Aadmi Party's argument ridiculous. The court has also reserved the order in the plea by Arvind Kejriwal challenging his arrest. But the question remains, can the Aam Aadmi Party still claim vendetta after the ED said it had no opposition to granting Sanjay Singh bail? सात अप्रैल को देश भर में सामूहिक उपवास का कॉल दिया जा रहा है पूरे देश के अंदर जो लोग भी ये मानते हैं कि मोदी सरकार ज्यादती कर रही है जहां भी संभव हो वो सामूहिक उपवास करें मुझे लगता है ये कहानियां करते हैं आम आदमी पार्टी के लोग Right, R.P. Singh is national spokesperson of the BJP. Akshay Marathe, spokesperson of the Aam Aadmi Party, is joining us. Akshay Marathe, what Sanjay Singh has got is merely bail. He has not been exonerated. This is no acquittal of any kind. The way Aam Aadmi Party supporters seem to be jumping and celebrating and sloganeering, it's almost as if he's got a clean shit from the court. Zaka, you have the answer to your question is within your question itself. For the last six months since Sanjay Singh is in jail, every day we have been discussing on television debates, the BJP spokesperson, the anchors, every time they ask us the same question. If you are innocent, why are you not getting bail? If you are innocent, why are you not getting bail? Now that he has got bail, now also you don't want us to claim he is innocent. What kind of logic is that? No, Let no, 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 let's be Let clear. Okay, okay. The law Let of the land, and, and you've studied no, law, the law of the land is very clear. Bail is not acquittal, bail is not exoneration. Bail Can is merely you? a legal right given to all accused persons. So yes, Can he's I managed to you? get bail. That is by no way, no stretch of the imagination, an acquittal or an exoneration you, from a from a case. Let me let me correct you, Zaka. The yes, please. Prevention of Money Laundering Act, under which Arvind Kejriwal and all the other leaders of the party have been arrested. The section forty five of that act says that bail may only be granted if the judge is convinced of innocence. It is the only law in the country where it says that all other laws bail is a right. It is not a matter of exception. But under this draconian law, which was meant to go after terrorists, uh, drug lords. And it is instead being used to go after opposition. That's another matter. But in this law, you can get bail only if the judges are convinced of your innocence. So the fact that Sanjay Singh has got regular bail, not medical bail, he is the only leader who is the only person who has been arrested in this case and has gotten bail. Okay. Has gotten bail for regular reasons, not medical reasons. Every other person has got bail only when they have turned approvers for the Bharati Janata Party, like Sharad Chandra Reddy, who. Got bail after he became an approver. He got a pardon. He paid BJP sixty crore rupees bribe, which 
until now they have not been able to explain okay. why the scam accused uh, gave them 60 crore rupees so, so it is a very big day for aam aadmi so, party so, that uh, a leader singh saab not just the accused. facts not just the fact that sanjay singh managed to get bail under pmla but also the fact that the government council the additional solicitor general who was representing the ed said we are not opposed to his bail and in fact the judges threatened them saying in fact almost threatened them saying that look be very clear if you are opposing bail then we have to comment on the merits of the case for 6 months you've had him in custody where is the recovered money where is this so called money trail you're not shown anything so please go back and take instructions come back after lunch time and tell us whether you're opposing bail or not and then the asg goes dutifully takes instructions comes back <laughs> after lunch time and says ed is not opposed to bail zaka if you know some legal luminaries and some uh, law good lawyers they do play a strategic game also at times i mean they do some strategy also and then it could be that uh, as you were saying he is he is out on bail he has not been acquitted uh, from the case and uh, as for my friend goes uh, uh, from the aam aadmi party mr maratha uh, let's see what do uh, the lords had to say to in the court they said we have the uh, mr raju the uh, ed lords said that they have the detail of the each and every trail in which has money has been spent in goa this there in the uh case which which was there and let me read out uh, one part also from the uh remand note which was submitted earlier the bank account number 10220210404647 in which money was transferred and also there are written statement under section 164 by certain uh, entities in uh, who are, who took money in goa and then like ashok patel karan bhai patel jagdish sharma i mean there are lot of them who are the angries who are on record and 164 is in front of magistrate not in front of the ed or in front of the police so they are on record saying and even the awab the candidates who contested there had are on record mentioned that this the money exchange hand and money came from the central party not, not from uh, mr kejri or mr sanjay singh from the central party and let okay. me remind you also one name mr jinder singh solanki do you remember that name he he was contesting from bardulai in gujarat he was caught red handed with some 20 lakh rupees cash during election and he said this is not my money this money belongs to this driver who happens to be angry between the uh, central party and and the state party that's how they used to transact money okay. and then he, uh, and he has transacted lot more uh, money uh, for the elections this, this is on, and there's a case which is going on against that but, person but akshay marathe today so, the delhi chief minister you know moved the also. high court give me a second, give me a second. challenging his arrest and the high court has not given him any relief so far at least the no, orders no. have been reserved no. but if the high court did indeed feel that mr kejriwal's arrest was wrongful he would have got relief by now no zaka let's not read too much into the high court's reserving of the order we both know that the reserving of an order is got no uh, uh, implication on what the order is going yes. to say let's wait for the order to come sure. uh, we can debate it when that comes but what the bjp spokesperson said before me is actually very revealing of the bjp strategy first they will malign the leaders of all other parties then they will take them into their own party and stop the investigations against them today i hope your viewers can google this indian express has done a fantastic investigation of the 25 leaders of opposition parties who bjp has taken and dropped all enforcement directed in cbi cases against them i feel proud that my party leaders chose not to go down that path and join the bharatiya janata party and they are choosing to fight and we are so grateful to the courts and judiciary of this country that they have uh, given bail to sanjay singh and it has reestablished okay. some faith in the judiciary also today and we are Ar- hopeful that Ar- the Ar- same Ar- logic Ar- 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 that the court respond. used for sanjay singh Ye, I mean, this will is also get against the bjp you're a washing machine you get people you know allegedly corrupt people from shiv sena from ajit uh, from ncp from other parties and then the moment they join the bjp or the nda Yeah, they have put through the laundry washing machine of the BJP, and they come out squeaky clean. I'll answer that also, Zaka. There, there's a gentleman named Rinku who was their member parliament, sitting member parliament, and was from also Jalandar, declared yes. as the member pa- candidate for the elections from the Jalandhar constituency. He shifted. He said, "I don't want to be part of the corrupt system," and he, he shifted to BJP. So. Is there any case against him? Then why did you even allotted him a seat? There is another MLA, sitting MLA of the party, who has shifted, who has changed uh, sides, and he has joined BJP now, 
saying that I don't want to be part of, and he loses membership also, MLCP also. I don't want to be part of the corrupt system. Was there any case against him? Yes, I will tell you how things happen with the Amadi Party. The five ministers in the from the Congress Party, whom they arrested through vigilance. The cases were lodged against them through vigilance department, including the former deputy CM of the Congress Party, Mr. O. P. Soni, who was sent behind jail. But when the alliance has to happen. They gave him the bail. All the files were given bail. Otherwise, they all were in jail. This you can see, check on record okay. whether Congress former ministers were put behind jail or not. But coming to the issue, the core issue is that every case is open for public domain. Mr. Akshay Marathi, you are a learned person. You, your party has had Abhishek. No, not the party. Sorry, you are, you are using public money. You are using my money, Mr. Zaka's money, taxpayers money to safeguard the skin of your uh, leaders. Uh, in the That's court. not but true. You That's had not Mr. Abhishek Manu Singh. Mr. Mr. Singhvi has not taken a single penny from Give the Delhi seconds, government. Sir, please, I never interrupted. He has not taken any money. Okay, R.P. Singh, finish. Yeah, finish so your point. Who, who is paying for the? Who, who is paying he's for fighting them? for is democracy. The the he's a great person. He's, he's, I salute him. He's fighting for okay. democracy. No, 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 I just want to bring our viewers' attention to what pictures we are showing on the right side of your screen. Of your screen. Sanjay Singh, who's just been released from uh, Tihar jail, he has just met with uh, Sunita Kejriwal, the wife of uh, the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, uh, touching her feet and hugging her. And of course, uh, you would imagine that this is uh, more than just political. Uh, there would be emotions, of course. Uh, Mr. Sanjay Singh's wife also there, uh, along with the rest of the family members. So these pictures just coming in. So Sanjay Singh meeting with Sunita Kejriwal. What this may mean? about the, the internal dynamics of the Amadmi party, we'll have to wait and see because after all, how long can the Chief Minister continue to say that, oh, I will continue to rule Delhi from uh, inside jail? Clearly, that is not feasible, that is not practical. Uh, so, what Sanjay Singh's release and his re-entry back into the Amadmi party fold, what this means in that whole internal dynamic of the Amadmi party, we'll have to wait and see. But just pointing our viewers' attention to these pictures on the right-hand side of your screen, uh, Sanjay Singh, uh, meeting Sunita Kejriwal. Yes, R.P. Singh, please go ahead. Yeah, finish your point. Oh, good. You showed the Shishmail today. We could use uh, some, we would have some glimpse of the Shishmail today because of you. Uh, and your viewers will, would have some little glimpse of Shishmail also uh, because of this uh, union happening of the Sanjay Singh and uh, 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 Sunita Kejriwal ji. But that point aside, I am saying that let them have best of the lawyers and let them go to the court. Even when we were in opposition, we went. Uh, people went to the court uh, against the 2G scam or uh, CWG scam, and, and and courts gave orders, and people were arrested after the court orders. Please, I will appreciate. Go ahead and file the I, cases in, in the court. Contest the cases in the court. You can. You have the best beat, uh, t uh, team of lawyers. No, so Akshay Marathe, uh, very quickly, you say you know BJP misuses IT, CBI, ED, etc. What is your government in Punjab doing against Sukhpal Ghera, against O.P. Uh, uh, Soni? You're doing the exact same thing. The playbook is the same. Very quickly, I have to wrap up. Zaka, no, Zaka, let's understand what the BJP is doing is not even, they're not even pretending anymore. Yesterday, Nirmala Sitaraman, the finance minister, said on a live television interview, she was asked by the anchor, are you okay with all these tainted people joining your party? She said, everybody is welcome. Now the BJP doesn't even pretend to be an honest party. Earlier they used to at least say we are honest and others are not honest. Okay. They want to malign the I honest uh, image of Aam Admi Party. That is why they are going after Arvind Kejriwal. It's I as have simple to as that. that. Let's, see, let's see how this plays out and whether or not this has resonance and whether this is an important issue for the voters of Delhi, for the voters of the rest of uh, this part of the world, whether Arvind Kejriwal's arrest is a vote-determining issue. We'll see. Uh, we'll know in, in the next few weeks. But I want to talk about... Uh, vote determinant issues as it were. Let's shift focus to a critical part of the biggest state in India, in Uttar Pradesh, Western UP, that goes uh, to polls in the first phase. Muzaffar Nagar is a crucial seat in Western Uttar Pradesh. It will go to polls on the first phase in, uh, on the 19th of April. The sitting two-time MP Sanjeev Balyan has once again been fielded against the Samajwadi Party's Harindra Malik. CNN News 18's Aman Sharma went to what is called the sugarcane capital of Uttar Pradesh, to Muzaffar Nagar, and this is his ground report from there.
This is Muzaffarnagar, the sugar capital of Uttar Pradesh and a seat which has been very intensely contested for the last 15 years. Since the 2013 communal riots in Muzaffarnagar, this seat shifted the BJP's way with Mr. Sanjeev Balyan winning the seat in 2014 and again in 2019. In 2019, however, he faced a stiff competition from RLD's Ajit Singh who gave him a very, very tough fight, but Mr. Sanjeev Balyan still won despite an SP, BSP and an RLD alliance on the other side. This time, the RLD has shifted to the BJP and it seems like a one-horse race in Muzaffarnagar, even after the 2022 setback in Muzaffarnagar for the BJP, when it could win only two out of the six assembly seats in Muzaffarnagar because the RLD had won three seats. This time with the BJP and the RLD together, it seems the BJP is on a very, very strong footing in Muzaffarnagar and Sanjeev Balyan looks much ahead in the race to win a third term. We are joined by Mr. Sanjeev Balyan, two-time Muzaffarnagar MP and perhaps the most recognizable face of the party in West UP. So, Balyan Ji, you are two times MP, you are filing the nomination again. पश्चिमी उत्तर प्रदेश का क्या मूड है? जैसा 2014 था, 2014 की आंधी वापस से और पूरा पश्चिम उत्तर प्रदेश हम क्लीन स्वीप करेंगे। बहुत जगह तो ऐसा है लगता है नहीं चुनाव भी होगा। विपक्ष के उम्मीदवारों की स्थिति ऐसी है कि शायद अगर उनका बस चले तो टिकट छोड़ दें। 2014 में क्लीन स्वीप बीजेपी ने पश्चिमी उत्तर प्रदेश में किया पर 19 में जब अलायंस हुआ एसपी बीएसपी का तो बीजेपी को नुकसान हुआ सीटों में असेंबली में भी हमने देखा सीटों में नुकसान हुआ इस बार क्या बदला है देखिए एक बार तो बसपा अलग लड़ रही है बसपा का हर सीट पर अपना वोट बैंक है पहले से आज भी है मुजफ्फरनगर में चुनाव का माहौल क्या है और आपको लगता है पूरे पश्चिमी उत्तर प्रदेश में क्या माहौल है भाई माहौल तो यहाँ लोग दल का ही है बीजेपी का ही बस क्योंकि जो जाट का भाई लीडर था वो भी सीमा चला गया इसलिए जाटों ने सीमा का आपको लगता है कि जाट जो वोट है सब एक तरफा बीजेपी को मगर एक तरफा तो कभी हुई नहीं किसी की भाई पिछली बार जब चुनाव हुआ था मुजफ्फरनगर में तो बलियान साहब लड़े थे चौधरी अजीत सिंह से खूब तगड़ी लड़ाई हुई थी तो इस बार इकट्ठा क्यों हो गए आपको भी लगता है इकट्ठा क्यों हुए आर एल डी और भाजपा नहीं जब भी लोग दल पते ज्यादातर वो तो कुछ भाई का वो वो तो गड़बड़ करके कुछ वो करके भाई इन्होंने जबरदस्ती बलियान को जिता लिया था जब तो अन्य था तो जब भी दल का पक्के लोक दल ही हैं रहेंगे हमारे चौधरी चले गए तो हम तो उनके पीछे हैं अब तो भाजपा हमारी मजबूरी होगी जाने की रहेंगे उसी में रहेंगे जहाँ में हम वहीं हम रहेंगे जी आप मुस्लिम हैं दोनों और यहाँ पे आई हैं क्या सोच के बीजेपी को सपोर्ट कर रही हैं मैं तकरीबन पिछले सात साल से भाजपा कार्य करता हूँ और इस वक्त मैं मेरठ जिले में मंत्री हूँ महिला मोर्चे में और पूरी तरह से हम अपने मामले प्रधानमंत्री जी के साथ में हैं जी जी तो आपको लगता है कि जो मुस्लिम वोटर है क्योंकि कई लोग कहते हैं मुस्लिम वोटर भाजपा को वोट नहीं डालता है इसमें क्या कुछ सच्चाई है कि आपको लगता है कि मन बदल रहा है नहीं ऐसा कुछ नहीं है मन नहीं बदल रहा है पूरी तरह से मुस्लिम समाज भी अपने मान्य प्रधानमंत्री जी के साथ में है दीज आर दू टॉप जाट लीडर्स ऑफ वेस्ट यूपी and one must go back to the 2019 Lok Sabha election when Sanjeev Balyan had in fact defeated Mr. Ajit Singh of the RLD by a narrow margin. Ajit Singh, the father of Jayan Chaudhary. But now Jayan Chaudhary is on the side of the BJP and that is explaining the Muzaffarnagar flight where Sanjeev Balyan is now very very confident that he will be able to win easily because the RLD who gave him the toughest fight the last time in Mr. Ajit Singh. Now his son Jayan Chaudhary is now on the side of the BJP in Muzaffarnagar.